In this topic, we will solve real world problems on vectors. But before we solve them, we need to know uh, a few of the laws of sines and cosines. Now, law of cosines is very useful if a triangle, which is not right angle, say now if it's a right angle triangle, you can use various formulas, say sine theta, cos theta, or the Pythagoras theorem, and find the details. But when it's not a right angle triangle, you can use law of cosines or law of sines to find the sides or the angles. Now, if all the sides are known and no angle is known, like all, all the angles are unknown, law of cosine can help you to find any of the angle. So that is very uh, useful. Or if two sides and the included angle is known, then the opposite side can be found out by law of cosines. I hope you remember this. If you consider this angle A, the opposite side would be A as well. The opposite side is very important. They both are, uh, are considered like a team, you know, because now imagine you're finding the this side, A squared. Then you should know the opposite angle. See, the cos A must be known and the included, uh, included angle and the sides. So B squared C squared minus 2BC cos A. So this is how we find it out. And even law of sines, this is also very simple. If this side A is known, divided by the opposite side, sine of A, I mean opposite angle, sine A and B by, B by sine B. Any two of this is used and you can find whatever is unknown. Now let's solve some real world problem. Now, uh, runner's result in velocity is 8 miles per hour due west running with a wind. So now let me just draw this. Due west means over here. This is up is north, down is south, right is east and west. So that's the thing. Now, over here they have told due west 8 miles per hour. So now let me draw this vector over here. That is 8. Now, what else is known? Uh, with a wind of 3 miles per hour north, 28 degree west. So, let me draw north and west over here. This is 28 degrees. So, okay. Now, this is the vector. And that is 3. The magnitude is given. What is the runner's speed to the nearest mile per hour? See, generally, they will give you, say, a person is running at this speed and the wind is blowing opposite direction. The resultant will be something like this. Okay, this will be the resultant. But in this case, they have given the final result and the wind. We need to find the position of the runner. So, let us see. Now, what you can do is you can obviously translate this wind. So, you need to understand this is the result and that means this is the final position. So wind is going in this direction, isn't it? So the runner was running somewhere over here. And then because of the wind of that particular thing, he went over here. The final result was over here. So how we understand is very simple. Look at the wind's position. If the wind position was over here opposite, then that would mean the runner was upside. But no, that is not the case. The wind is going northwest. You know, this, this is the direction. So I will just translate this vector over here. And I will write this as to be the initial running position of the runner. Now, if we need to find this magnitude. So let me write the known details. This is 3. That's the wind. It's just translated. So now... If we know this is 28, then we can also find this. That would be 62. But now, over here, see, now this angle is 62, right? We can find, see, they, these are the two magnitudes known. Now, what is this? What is this? This is unknown. This is the angle theta, right? Now, this can be found out because this is 62. This is 62. And these both will be same. Okay, my diagram is very bad. Let me just show you the figure over here. Say, look at this. This angle is given as 28 degrees. That's the wind. This is the given, uh, what is that? 8 miles per hour, the final resultant. Now, we will just translate it over here. 
and now whatever this angle was over here this will be the same angle over here so it basically this would be the position where it was running and this will be theta that is 90 minus 28 that is 62 so once you find that theta you can easily find this distance i mean this this magnitude how using law of cosines so let me consider this as x so to find x it will be x squared equals the other two sides square so it will be 3 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 3 and 8 cos of the angle opposite to the unknown that is 62 now you can put this in calculator or just take the square root of this put this in calculator that would be the answer so now look over here so basically i just raise this sorry okay so the person is running over here it's considered i over here that's fine and then you know this angle is 62 from the figure from the given data and all you're doing is putting it in the uh, law of cosines formula over here eight is considered first i consider three first is the same thing eight squared plus three squared minus two times uh, all this just put the square root and you'll get the answer so the answer is 7.10 so now you can understand he was uh, that that particular person was uh, running at a speed of 7.1 and because of the wind he went to this direction and the wind helped him to go the resultant would be more so basically because of the wind you know in the direction the same way let's solve some other problems over here we have a glider is traveling at an airspeed glider is the one who glides in the sky at, a, at an airspeed of 15 kilometers per hour due west so let's see the diagram over here again east west due west this person is uh, this glider is traveling at this particular speed if the wind is blowing at five kilometers are in the direction of north 60 degree east see it's in the opposite direction now this side what is the resulting uh ground speed of the glider so now they want to know the ground speed basically so you can see this can be translated over here and the resultant would be this so what happens is the result how to find the resultant you just have to find this angle so now this much is 60 over here wait so this much is 30 over here so when you translate it over here this will remain the same 30 and these two uh the adjacent sides are known you can use law of cosines and solve it up very simple very straightforward and if at all they were asking the resultant you know angle then you can use law of cosines and find the angle or you can use law of sines and find the angle so this is how you can easily solve it up you can uh, try other problems as well over here you can see the figure understand what is asked and easily solve it up you can find the answers